starting a, a new series I'm going to call, and I don't know how often I'll do it, but I've got one set up ready to film um, called Storytime Perfumes. And I had so much fun doing my, my haunted perfume series that I'm kind of doing something similar-esque, but not really. Um, it'll be more the names of the perfumes are going to create the story. And then I'll review them as um, at the end of the, the story. Hi everyone, I'm Moody Boo and I'm back with another review. So as you might have noticed, things have changed a little bit. I have a little different perspective in my living room because um, with COVID, we got rid of our gym membership. So now we have an inversion board. We have a treadmill behind me there. <laughs> we have weights. We've got a lot of exercise equipment um, and therapy stuff in our front room uh, since now that's pretty much where we work out. So, but it was impeding on the space. So we had to rearrange things to get our space back in the living room, which means I'm over here now. So today I'm going to talk about a new-to-me house and a new-to-me perfume. I did kind of mention it in that last huge haul video I just posted. Um, and this is by Anka Koos. And this is Jezebel. I don't know why I can't just say Jezebel. <laughs> I always go Jezebel. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But, oh, it's another weird thing. I told you they were back. Oh my gosh. So I ordered a couple of samples when I ordered a perfume from Lucky Scent from Anka Coos because I was curious. It's a new house. I've never heard of it. And um, two of these perfumes I love. One is on the way, A Moment in Manhattan, and then Jezebel. Um, I think those are the only two from the house I've tried, the only two I had sampled. So I'm really anxious to try some more from that house because what? <laughs> and their prices are crazy. It's only $110 USD for a 50 ml bottle. <laughs> right? So oh, I love it. And like I said in the fragrance hall, it's risque. It's very risque. But in a perfectly fruity, wonderful kind of way. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, <laughs> starting the rhyme time again. So this is pear and chocolate and rose Domicina, Moroccan jasmine, vanilla, tuber, cashmere and musk, osmanthus, um, West Australian sandalwood, amber, Madagascar vanilla, and tonka bean. And ask me if it's sweet. Yes, very. <laughs> so the pear, the chocolate, the rose, and the jasmine are what knock me on my keister until my legs are up in the air. I am so blown away by it. And it's a weird combination. And I like that. And it's, it's, it's narcotic. It, the rose and the jasmine they use in combination with that pear and chocolate makes it naughty. I don't think the tuber, I don't know, tuber, the cashmere musk, I don't think so. I, that's, as I understand it, as I remember, I've never really distinguished a lot of musks other than animalic and white musk. Is kind of you know clean or it's naughty usually sometimes it's it's a little different it can be warm and snuggly too and that's what I thought this musk was cashmere musk was just that warm snuggly musk and not animalic or uh, super clean or anything correct me if I'm wrong so all of the naughty must come from the jasmine the rose and then that's added to the pear and the chocolate now chocolate it depends on the note but I have smelled chocolate that has a little bit of, I don't know if I'd say naughty, but a hint of sexy, a little something in there. I, I don't even know what it is. And it isn't with all chocolate notes, but 
Chocolate can be a really strange note in perfume. Um, it doesn't always make the perfume gourmand by any means. It can help, but I have smelled naughty chocolates before. I would like to know where those chocolates have been, honestly, <laughs> because I have a guess. Anyway, this is that naughty kind of chocolate too. It's super sweet. This is a sweet, sweet perfume. Oh. Now it does not have a big journey to its dry down. You do get the, the woods um, and the vanilla, um, you know, it's sweet already. So I don't really detect vanilla because everything going on, all those notes on the top are making it sweet. So vanilla, if it's in there, it's just another addition to the sweet. I don't really pick it out. But the sandalwood, the amber, and the tonka bean, that does come in more in the dry down. And actually, that is my absolute favorite part of this, even though I'm whack nut daddy over the top notes. Absolutely. I love that. And it keeps that sexy when it dries down, too. I'm going to spray. It's my Friday, so I'm off tomorrow, and my husband will be home soon, so I should wear a little naughty, don't you think? Oh, damn. You know, this almost has a, a hint of boozy to it, too. So, you get that naughty floral chocolate pear thing at the top. It dries down the amber, the tonka, and the sandalwood. Just warm it up, and it gets a little less narcotic, a little less risque. Not a lot. Completely, I think, cold weather perfume, because this is sweet. I mean, sweet. Let me reemphasize that for you. It's sweet. <laughs> Yes, and it's naughty. It, it, it tickles gourmand, but it pretty much stays in the floral kind of scenario. So this goes from being sex club. Yes, that's what it smells like. That's what it reminds me of. It's funny how I have no connection between mouth and brain because I said it before I thought it. But that is what this reminds me of at the top is a sex club. And now you're asking yourself, sex club? Has Boo been to a sex club? And some of you are even asking, how many sex clubs has Boo been to? And Boo's response would be, oh, no, no, no. That is a secret for me and me alone. This goes from being sex club to having a rendezvous in flagrante delicto in the middle of a, a rose and jasmine field kind of a situation. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> Except for the bees. I think the bees might be an issue when you're naked amongst flowers. <laughs> ah. Yeah, you might get stung in places that would make finishing in flagrante delicto a little tough. <laughs> ah, so um, it's, I think, would be much more um, appreciated by uh, feminine personalities, people who identify as feminine. Um, but I think... A lot of people who identify as masculine would want to smell this on their significant other. Performance is really good on it too. Um, like eight, nine hours and be careful spraying. It is intensely, intensely strong, especially that first hour. Oh my, yeah. I do two sprays max if it's like under my clothes. And one spray, if I'm just spraying, you know, my neck or something. <clears throat> this is not formal fare. No, I would not wear this to work. Any kind of a, a daytime anything. 
this is nighttime all the way, and it's not formal. This is frisky, fun, frisky frivolity. That's what this is. It is, oh, and of course, those romantic sessions, I think this would be totally appropriate too, depending on your partner, of course. They may not be into those kind of naughty smells, but mine is. <laughs> I haven't tested this one on him yet because he can't get past Cinecooch. He loves Amir Alut and um, by La Tapa. He loves it. And so if I'm going to wear perfume, if I'm going to spray myself right before um, uh, we go sans clothes, <laughs> then uh, I pretty much got to spray Cinecooch. So, oh, in case you don't know, um, that's what he calls Amir Alud. <laughs> he says it smells like somebody sprinkled some cinnamon on somebody's lady parts. Clean lady parts. <laughs> For Amir Alud, not this. And I'm going to be starting a, a new series I'm going to call, and I don't know how often I'll do it, but I've got one set up ready to film um, called Storytime Perfumes. And I had so much fun doing my my haunted perfume series that I'm kind of doing something similar-esque but not really. Um, it'll be more the names of the perfumes are going to create the story and then I'll review them as um, at the end of the, the story. So I know, weird, right? I always like coming up with something different though. Though. So Jezebel Anka Koos, um, I think my dog just farted. Oh my God. I better stop this video because I'm going to be choked out here in a minute and not be able to sing the goodbye song. <laughs> so anyway, really good house. Very intrigued, really reasonable prices. Um, I got mine at Lucky Scent. So, all right. Well, that's it for me. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ding the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still All right, use your nose. Peace.